So uh, for me, it was a bit confusing uh, to get multiple currencies on Trailblazer. They don't have a video for this and I was a bit confused. I'll show you why. So here we are on company information. And uh, first thing you need to know is the organizational or corporate currency, uh, interchangeable terms, by the way, corporate and organizational uh, is USA. So that's a US-based business. My hub is in USA. It's US-based centralized business. Now, I might be sitting in Australia, and I'll show you how to set that up. So here we are, currency setup on my company information page. And under company uh, currency setup, I've got US dollars as the uh, hub, the centralized currency. Now, I can change that by clicking change corporate rate <clears throat> currency. And instead of USA, I could say now the central business is hubbed in Australia. So use Australian dollars. but it isn't uh, centralized in Australia. Let's assume it's US-based. Uh, the, the company name is uh, American Nuts, by the way. Yeah, so it's a pretty interesting name that I've chosen. Um, and some poor soul has got to edit these rates every every month. Um, instead of watching Seinfeld on Netflix <laughs> at 11 p.m. at night, he's uh, red-eyed updating these uh conversion rates. I've also got Azerbaijan in there as well. So maybe you've got some business doing done in Azerbaijan, uh, being a bit of a unique country to be doing business with. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I've uh, put in an opportunity just to show you how it all works. Uh, so um, this opportunity I've already made, but if you wanted to edit that opportunity, this is what you see. You see the US dollars right there, as well as in brackets, it shows you the Australian dollars rate. And the reason it's showing me US dollars up here is because I have chosen that this deal is done in US dollars. So that is that is the gist of it. Now, why is it showing me Australian dollars up here and how do I set that up? So if you go into, and this is on Trailblazer as well, is if you go into your personalized settings up here, so from your own name, my name's Usman Shahid, um, I'm gonna go uh, settings up here, and under settings, I've got language and time zone settings on the left hand side. I click that and I end up on this page where I've chosen Australian dollars. So that is the key. If you uh, wanted to get paid in Australian dollars, if you if your whole world is revolving around Australian dollars, although you're doing business in USA, then this is what you do. You choose Australian dollars for yourself at a personalized level, uh, but at an organizational level, it's going to be US dollars so that you can see both currencies up here in opportunities and forecasts and other amounts. Well, thanks for listening to me.